Welcome back, everybody. Uh, we finally got a decent weather Saturday morning. Uh, looks like this afternoon might turn to crap and we might get some storms in, but I wanted to show you the progress I've made on this big tree in Cherry Ridge. Got a lot of this pretty well cleaned up and cut up. Uh, we've got quite a bit more to go over here, but we're getting there slowly but surely. I got uh, a bunch of different clover mixes from uh, Ravelin Hill Archery up there. Daniel uh, had a few different mixes that I'm going to go ahead and frost seed probably uh, today, maybe this afternoon before it rains at some point. I'm going to do that whole strip food plot and I'm just going to plant clover in it and I'm going to uh, hit it with glyphosate on and off all summer long and, and really try to get a good a good clover crop up through there clover's really resilient to that glyphosate and it'll kill all the kill all the weeds but the clover it'll burn the clover leaves but it'll continue to grow and should get nice and thick in there so let's get some of this cleaned up and then we'll go up and uh frost seed that and we'll stay busy today Well, I've got a few loads of wood here, and uh, we were going to go over and frost seed the strip food plot, and I just got a notification on my phone that there's a severe storm on the way, and you can see it. It's coming straight out of the west, so we're going to have to wait on that, and maybe tomorrow we'll get the that uh, frost seeded. We're back, everybody. It's the next day, and it's a nice day. It's cold. I had a hard frost last night. And I've got Kaylee actually out here working today. It's uh, pretty tough to do that sometimes. I'm but shove a corn cob up your bum. <laughs> but uh, my roller broke, so I took the other piece of it home already, and now we're going to take this and get it back to the house. And then I've got the stuff to frost seed the strip food plot down here. We've got a few different mixes from Ravelin Hill Archery. I went and seen Daniel and picked up uh, these clover mixes. This one right here I think does an acre. Yeah, one acre contains uh, different types of clovers. Let's see uh, on the back here. Ladino, Crusade, white clover, uh, different types of clover it'll be perfect we're gonna just go ahead and broadcast it frost seed it and then we're gonna keep uh keep after it all summer to keep the weeds knocked down we should have a pretty good stand of clover in there we've got whitetail imperial imperial clover as well for it so what you don't want to pick them up it's too heavy i can't pick that up by myself you just have to slide the end off hey let's go that was mean Let's go. Just pick it up and slide Just the end let's off. Let's go. Come on. Let me see you do it. No. <laughs> You're going to get fired. I hope to. <laughs> I have other things I want to do. Like what? Tell us what What do you want to do? I got to go take care of stuff at the house. What? Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> I got to work tomorrow. Let's go. I dug this ditch out with Carl's excavator last fall and ditch is working pretty good trying to divert all that water down through here and right down into the edge before uh, it was splitting off and going right down into the food plot right there and then Vern actually helped me down here it was diverting that way into the food plot and we we dug that ditch out over there so trying to keep after it here
we made it down here to the strip food plat and this is the plat that we're just gonna uh, seed down with clover and uh, hopefully it comes up good this summer this has been brassica for a few years and uh, this year the brassica just didn't do good it actually uh, a weed called water hemp came up really thick in it this year so it's actually kind of wet down there toward the bottom uh, this clover should do pretty good in here I would think there's a bunch of tree tubes that I just fixed last week in here and uh, we got chestnut trees and then uh, white swamp oaks growing down there in the bottom where it's wet so we're gonna go ahead and get these uh, get the seed spreader filled up and we're gonna start letting it have it one way that I can tell exactly how much seed I need and by telling exactly how much ground this is you can go on the onyx app and you just walk the perimeter of the food plot tracking your uh, tracking your movement and then you can take the map and connect the dots and you can see exactly how big your food plot is so I know that this is just under an acre so uh, I'll plant accordingly. I actually go a little bit heavy when I plant the clover. So let's get after it. Well, we just got it all frost seeded. It took a while and a little bit of exercise, but we've got a good covering of uh, clover here. You can obviously see all the little clover seeds. So the freeze thaw cycle will work that clover into the soil and we should have a heck of a crop of clover in here. Come, uh, you know, June, July time frame, we should really be able to start to see it.